right, so we're here at Stanford, we went in second place. Uh, I think, you know, you, you mentioned you had a bunch of new misses in this meet. I mean, is it, what, what is the feeling right now? Oh, man. <laughs> well, she's been on pretty much every single one of them, so. <laughs> that was so oh, my God. I mean, just like running with all of these amazing people and these amazing teammates, and it was so fun to watch Christina. Um, at the end, we were all watching together and just watch her be so relaxed and fight all the way to the end. And I think we're obviously, you know, we're always going yeah. to be first. We're, or you're always like wanting to be first, but we fought and did everything we could. And um, there's no other people that we'd rather be doing it with. So. And to think that we're a team that's been in the top three now four, four years in a row, five years in a yeah, row, something like, that. something like that. Like that's something that we should be really proud of. And we can't get too caught up in missing first place again by a few hundredths of a second just because we've shown a lot of consistency over the years and that's something we can be really proud of that our teammates before us built and we get to carry on and so I just know it's gonna continue. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys get flashbacks to last year? It's pretty much the same except <laughs> minus Colorado. You know? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Except this time Elise was standing on the sideline, so now she knows what it feels like. <laughs> so interesting. Did you think you had her at the line, Christina? I mean, I was obviously giving it everything I had. I think that's like what you're doing down the home stretch, no matter where you're at, you know, like, yeah. and like, regardless of the outcome, you want to know that you gave it everything you had. And I think like, the only way you can be happy with yourself is if you know that. So like, regardless of whether I was able to quite pull through and like, like lean, lean out leaner at the line or whatever, regardless of the outcome, like I wanted to know that I gave it everything that I had, you know. Well, I mean, when you crossed the line immediately though, did you think you had won or did you know you uh, I definitely didn't, I thought that, I probably thought that, she, I mean you can usually kind of tell when you're like, <laughs> like that close to someone, like I kind of thought that she probably had like barely out leaned me, but like obviously <laughs> You're always kind of like, well, maybe, maybe the finish line was a little bit farther than I thought it was. <laughs> and the decision to run you on anchor versus Elise, was that just because you were fresh, or what was the thinking? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like, it's pretty cool to have a team where we're able to like switch, around. switch it around like that, and like, it definitely, I think it probably gives all of us confidence to know that like our coaches tell us like any order, it's like going to be fine. Um, but yeah, since Elise had run the DMR, we just thought that 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 um, would probably be best and also to have like Elise on the eight I think that was a really good choice too I think she'd run a strong eight and she obviously did yeah. <laughs> Elise could you um, describe kind of the effort that just, like what was watch, watch Christina oh and, my and just, what, just the amount of you know I don't know how proud are you kind of yeah, I, I'm so yeah. proud of this one. Both, no. both her and Missy um, will be back, and I know that they'll that they'll get it next year or the year after. And just so proud of watching Christina. Um, we were both into it at the same time in the fall, and it's just been awesome to watch her kill the 3K at Husky and then come here and be put on the anchor, which, like, I mean, being on the anchor, there's always just some added pressure. Like, you, whether or not it's put on you, you just you feel that there is. And for her to run so calm and composed the whole time and just... Um, sit behind Oregon and she just looked so calm and so amazing the whole time and we, we felt so confident the last like 200 and 100 because she has such wheels too and she was just she just she ran it amazing she ran it so so calm and composed so well, Missy you, you put you guys in a great position um, in second place I believe um, kind of cleared a lot of the, the you know the crowd I mean, is that kind of your goal, just to just to get away and just to give you guys a, a chance? Yeah, I think you know the game plan was just to get the baton and go, and I feel like we all went out there and executed the leg that we needed to, and you know we, we put ourselves in a great place and definitely gave the best effort that we could. Definitely proud of all these ladies. <laughs> what did you guys say to each other right before the race? Uh, we said, well, we couldn't find Christina at the beginning, so we were trying to huddle. We were like, we're trying to huddle. <laughs> Um, but you know usually say a little prayer just say yeah. like we're all gonna you know go out there and give our best and I think just thinking about your teammates and picturing them in your mind um, as you're running is always so helpful and it's so much different than an individual race like no matter how hard you try to create like running for your teammates in an individual race is just completely different when you have that baton in your hand and I think we all know that when we have the baton we're running um, for all of our other teammates and watching Ness start it off and fight all the way to the line um, I think just start it off on the right foot and then you know that all you can do is give your best for your teammates.
And I think especially in a race like this, you're like not only running for all the teammates that are here, but also the teammates that are like at home that you've been training with every day and have helped God get, got you to this point. Yeah. See you tomorrow, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.